iOS 11, the new version of Apple's iPad and iPhone software, is out today. Discover 17 new and hidden features for your Apple iPhone and iPad in that video. To start, the new screenshot mode. Taking a screenshot by pressing the home and lock button creates a window in the bottom left of the page. You can then edit and doodle on screenshots before saving them. Screen recording. Activated via the new control center, you add it in settings. This takes a short video of your screen activity such as if you want to show a relative how to use a feature. New App Switcher for the iPad When you double press the home button on the iPad you get a better view of your most recently used apps than on previous versions. Drag and drop file on your iPad If you are split screening apps, you can drag photos, links and contacts between them. From your photos app into emails for example. The new app store Apple has given the App Store its biggest overhaul since launching it in 2008. It splits up games and apps into tabs and includes edited recommendations. Live Photo Changes You can make your live photos loop, bounce and create a long exposure effect by dragging upward on the screen when looking at them. New iMessage Effects There are new Echo and Spotlight effects in iMessage. Echo, which is pictured repeats your message across the screen. Emergency SOS for the iPhone Pressing the lock button five times in quick succession allows you to slide for emergency SOS, which dials 999 and sends a message to your emergency contacts, edited in the health application, with your location. Handwriting recognition for the iPad If you scribble something in notes, such as hello there, you'll be able to find it in Spotlight by searching for the words. Quick flicks on the keyboard of your iPad. Typing on the iPad keyboard is made easier. Flicking down on keys types out the gray punctuation marks above the letters. One-handed keyboard on your iPhone. Especially useful for iPhone Plus owners, holding down the emoji button allows you to skew the keyboard to the left or right of the screen. New file system on the iPad. Apple is trying to make the iPad more capable of replacing a PC. One of the most noticeable changes includes a Files app that integrates with cloud services like Dropbox and Google Drive. Edit Siri Messages If Siri didn't quite hear what you said, you can now edit your commands by typing. Persistent Notifications You can change the notification settings of your apps so that certain ones have persistent notifications that will stick to the top of your screen until you get rid of them. Find it in Settings then Notifications then click on each app. Document Scanning Scanners can finally be put to bed. When creating a note, press the plus button and select Scan Documents. You can manually edit the area, turn them black and white and add signatures. Siri Translation Perhaps and even surely a little behind Google, but Siri can now translate foreign languages on the fly. Interesting. Finally, crop live photos. Pressing edit on a live photo allows you to adjust the length of the animation. What do you think of iOS 11? Are you excited with this new version? Share your thoughts and comments. To discover more Apple and iOS related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S. Sorrels channel.